I want to share a story about why we spent a million and a half dollars buying sumo.com. I used to be so against buying expensive domain names. When I was at the Facebook, they spent $200,000 to buy facebook.com. So what changed for me? So number one, there was a lot of company clones. A bunch of people were adding sumo to their name. Sumo this, sumo that, sumo whatever. And it was just tiring. It was like, man, what if we could be the definitive sumo? Number two, people couldn't pronounce our name correctly. So Jason Calcanis kept saying, like South Park character, Himi me, Himi me. What you, what's your guys' site? And he just couldn't fucking pronounce it. It drove me crazy. And then we wanted to go big. We did want to go big. We do want to go big. We wanted to go sumo big. If life is precious, it takes literally the same amount of effort to do something big as it takes to do something small. So why not just go for something big? That's actually something Peter Thiel told me uh, back in the day at Facebook. So to get the actual domain, it's taken seven years. So I spent over 200 emails to finally get the domain. And this is a lesson I learned from my mom who's got a PhD in nagging. So my mom always said, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And that is one of my favorite quotes, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So you gotta be persistent in the things you really want. So how did I find the contact information of the owners? I used a Whois lookup. So if you go to whois.se slash their domain name, you can find most any domain contact information. So I did whois.se slash sumo.com. So I sent him an email. Hey, what's up, guys? I talked with our team, and we're prepared to offer $50,000 cash for the domain. And we can escrow it within 24 hours. Does that sound good? And Amit responded, I guess I was not able to communicate clearly. We did not buy the domain with the intention of selling it for money. Have a most blessed day. Then we sent it again, for, and we said, we'll give you $175,000 now. Not interested. Have a great day. But obviously, we own the domain name now. So the lesson really there is that for something you want, or in general, there's always a price. So how did it finally work? We offered them a million and a half bucks, 500,000 up front, and the 1 million difference over five years paid monthly. You know, the last email, and Amit came back and they said, I spoke to management, we are okay with your proposal. Send the documents over for our review. And that was it. We finally got the domain we really wanted seven years later. We found out we're the 82nd most expensive domain name ever, right next to our comrades, Russia.com. If you're ever trying to make a large purchase, there's two questions that I've been able to come up with that have really, really, really helped me. How would you feel if someone else got what you wanted? And I knew I'd be pissed. Secondly, did I really, really want it? And or is it a steal of a deal? Do you have that like burning desire? Do you have fantasies about it? Do you have like excitement? I think you should have a feeling. And if you don't really want it, is it just such a good deal that you have to buy it?